All right, hello everybody. My name is The Last Hodler, and as you may remember from one of my previous videos, I am a blockchain developer for a UK blockchain and cryptocurrency company called Online Blockchain. And this is going to be probably the last tutorial on how to integrate cryptocurrency into your website or how to create a cryptocurrency application. Okay. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to go to those special sections of the website that we originally looked at. And we're going to plug a receive address into this one for Brazio, which is our cryptocurrency that we're using to make this cryptocurrency application. And we're also going to plug the Brazio balance into this second field here. Okay, so that's going to require us um, to, using PHP, interact with the Brazio daemon and get some information from it, basically. Okay, so this tutorial is going to be all about how to do that. So the first thing that we need to look at is um, how to get PHP code to be allowed on our web server to execute privileged shell commands, okay? So what a privileged shell command is, is a command with the word sudo before it, which means run this as root permissions, okay? So by default, PHP and most web servers don't have the correct permissions to run commands as, um, as root, or have root permissions to run commands. Um, and this is for security reasons. So say that somebody hacked your web server, took control of your web root. Uh, well, if your web root was allowed to do anything it wanted on the server, then that would be like a serious security issue and your um, web server would be completely compromised, okay? Um, so that's why it's not enabled by default. But what we can do is we can enable um, certain commands to be um, allowed to be run by PHP um, and therefore we're not allowing like full access to our web server we're just allowing access to like particular commands okay um, but for all intents and purposes I'm going to just open everything up um, and allow PHP to run any command just to show you um, not from like a security perspective I'll probably do another security video updating um, this stuff and uh, that can be a whole other video in itself, but this is just to, um, to show you the functionality um, of interacting with a Bitcoin daemon or a Brazio daemon, you know, um, having the web server do all that wallet functionality That's all we're looking at today. So the security stuff that can be the next video. Okay, um, so The first thing we need to do is we need to set the sudo as permission for the web server Okay, um, we need to tell Ubuntu, our Ubuntu server, that we're going to allow PHP, the, well, the, the actual directory that PHP is running in, to um, execute shell commands. So to do this, we're going to open up a new terminal by clicking Control-Alt-T, okay? And the next thing is to say sudo vi sudo. So what this is going to do is it's going to open up the sudo as file so that we can add a new entry saying, okay, we want a new, like, we want a new person who has sudo permissions. That's the web root. Um, and so we're adding it to that file to like let Ubuntu know. Okay. So sudo vi sudo. And then you have to type in your password, click enter again. All right. So let me expand this a little bit. Okay. So at the very bottom of this file, we're going to be add, um, adding a new sudo. Okay. So that sudo is called www data. Okay. And we're going to allow everything, whoops, with all equals no password, which means we never need a password to do anything. And that's anything we want. Okay, so any um, command, WW data is now like privileged and is allowed to execute those commands. So in the next video, so okay, so this is this is um, a security issue. And in the next video, I'll be going into depth more um, about how exactly to only allow very specific commands, but I'm just opening all commands up um, for this video to make things like super easy and not have to explain a whole bunch of extra stuff that's not important right now. So um, we've added that entry into the file and now we need to press control O and then enter to save and then control X to like exit out of that file. So now that is done. So the next thing um, I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to like restart Brazio, like the Brazio daemon on the web server. So if you already have it open, type, I don't have it open, but you may type kill all Brazio D and that will like kill the process if it's already running, but for me it's not. Um, and the next thing to do will be to type Brazio D and restart the daemon again. Okay, so now that the uh, Brazio daemon has started, it's time to add all of the credentials that the command, the command line interface needs to add those into the backend um, so that when we run command line 
um, commands with PHP, it needs to like have a way to authenticate them. So we need to add that sort of authentication file. But luckily, we already have a file um, which is exactly the same, which is brazio.conf. Okay, our daemon has its own configuration file in which it has like a RPC username and RPC password. Only that user is allowed to do these commands. Okay, so we have the daemon's version of that, but we also need the command line wallet's version of that so that it can send those authentication tokens or whatever you want to call them, right? So we need two versions of those files. So what we need to do is we just need to copy over the one that um, the Brazio daemon is using um, for its authentication. Just copy that one over to the directory that the command line wallet will be using um, to authenticate. So the command for that will be sudo cp, so cp is copy, and then we're going to go into the daemon's configuration file, like so, um, and copy those to slash root, slash dot brazio, slash brazio dot conf, okay? So what that will do is it will take the daemon's configuration file, and it'll place it into the command line interface's configuration file, and then they'll be on the same terms, and they'll be able to talk to each other, right? So that's that command. Okay, so now what I want to do, okay, is I want to actually write the functions that PHP is going to use to, like, interact with the daemon um, using the uh, shell exec command. So this um, kind of default page that we're using for the website right now um, index.html, we want to change this to a PHP file so that we can add some PHP code to it and um, make it kind of like, um, it's, it's the only file we're going to need to interact with the daemon. You know, we could add another file and uh, have like a logic file, have all the logic in there, but just for the simplicity's sake, I'm going to change the index file to a PHP file and then add all that functionality into that file, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, MV, which is move, but you can, you, this command is to rename the file. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna rename it from index.html to index.php. So MV for move, slash bar, slash www, slash html, slash index.html. And then I'm just gonna move it to the same place, but .php. Okay, so now that HTML file is a PHP file, but if we do a hard refresh, because it's called index, it's going to like automatically load um, from the web server. Like you don't need to tell Apache that it needs to load index.php as its like main um, index file. It kind of knows that by default. So if you have, if you don't have an index.html, it's going to look for an index.php, and if you don't have a .php, it's going to look for a .html. And there are like a list of those starting from the most relevant to the least relevant, and there's like a few. It's not just .html.php. There's actually like a few by default. Um, so now it's got index.php open, we can actually start writing our PHP code to this file and then everything will be operating from this file. So to do that, I'm going to type subl, which is our editor, sublime, slash bar, slash www, slash html, slash index.php. Okay, and so now this file is going to be our main HTML file, but it's also going to be like our main PHP file as well. So we can add both into the same file. Um, it's just a nice language like that. So we're going to add our PHP tags first. Okay. And inside here are going to be like our commands that we're running. Um, and we're going to store them in some variables. So we're going to say dollar balance equals shell exec. So we're executing a shell command, right? And then inside there, sudo brazio cli get balance. Okay. So that's, oops, so that's our first one. And I've got to put the quotation marks around there as well. Okay, so with that balance variable, we're going to say echo dollar balance. Okay, and before that, I'm going to say something like uh, the balance is dollar balance. And then I'm just going to put a little break, like an HTML break, a new line there at the end of that command. Okay, so that's the balance. And then the next one will be the address. And we're going to use the command called get new address, right? It's going to get us a new address. Get new address. I'm going to change this to address as well. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to 
run a shell command, okay, sudo brezio cli get balance, and it's going to save it into this variable called balance. So now we have the balance from the daemon, okay, and then we're just going to print to the screen the balance is and whatever that balance is, and we're going to do the same for the address, and the cli command is just called get new address, okay. So once we've done this, click control s to save, and go to your browser, and I'm going to click control f5 for a hard refresh. Okay, I think we might have some some CSS overlap. If I click, you can see at the top, if I keep refreshing it, it's showing up there. But the CSS is loading over it because it's, it's just what the, what the template's doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these values and we're going to plug them into the place that we originally intended to plug them in, okay? So let's go down. Let's Let's get rid of these echoes because we don't actually want to echo it to the screen at the very top. What we want to do is we want to plug it in to the correct place. So I'm just going to do the balance first. Okay, and then I'm going to hit Control F and let's see if we can find balance. Here we go. So instead of this 0 0.000, we're going to, we're going to say PHP echo dollar balance. Okay, and in this receive address one, We're going to say PHP echo, but we're going to change that to address. And let's save that and reload our page. All right, so let's scroll down to the wallet section. Okay, so you can see that now in the website, it says receive address is an our receive address. And it also says balance is 0, 0.000 because that's our balance. We still haven't sent any cryptocurrency to this wallet yet. But if we actually sent some crypto to this address, um, then this balance would update because we actually have something in our wallet. Okay, so that's been how to plug in this information, build a cryptocurrency application out of Brazio D, the Brazio daemon, and everything's exactly the same for Bitcoin. So um, go through this tutorial again if you want to use Bitcoin and just uh, replace every Brazio with Bitcoin and everything will work exactly the same. So don't worry about that, it'll work just fine for Bitcoin. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll probably um, go through how to make this a little bit more secure because right now, um, if, if somebody hijacks your web root, they'll be able to take over your entire machine. And we only want the web root to be able to execute very specific commands to like stop this vulnerability. So I'll discuss that in the next video. And also in the next tutorial, um, we'll be going through how to actually send Brazio out of this site to other wallets. So you'll have the complete functionality and um, you'll be able to do all three of those things, which is kind of like the crux for building like maybe an exchange or some kind of wallet service, whatever you want to build. Um, so you're going to need to know that as well. Uh, but as always, guys, make sure you subscribe if you want to learn anything there is to know about cryptocurrencies or making altcoins or making cryptocurrency applications, because I'll let you know whatever you want to know about that. And uh, as always, guys, please hodl for as long as possible.